This program is brought to you by MHRA, Medical and Health Research Association of New York City, Incorporated. Congratulations on your new baby. This is a time of joy and pride. It is also the time to start your baby on good eating habits so he can develop into a healthy and happy child. This DVD will help you begin the process of giving your infant a healthy nutritional diet. Keeping in mind that all babies are different and that yours will develop at his own pace. If you have questions, ask your pediatrician or WIC nutritionist. Aaron is Ying and Tom's first baby. They want to make sure they give him the best. That's why Ying breastfeeds him as many times as he wants. Breastfeeding for the first six months is the best for the baby. Breast milk contains all the nutrients the baby requires for his growth and development. Your little one does not need any other food during this time. Breast milk can protect Aaron from infections and diseases. Also, for Aaron, breast milk is easier to digest than formula. Ying likes the fact that her milk is always available and doesn't cost anything. Cam is also breastfeeding her daughter, Mia. At the beginning it was hard. Breastfeeding takes time and patience. But the counselor at WIC was very helpful. She showed me different positions and techniques. I also know that it is very important that I eat lots of fruits and vegetables because that's very good for Mia. It also helped that everyone in my family, my husband and my mother, agreed with my choice to breastfeed. If you have questions about breastfeeding, ask your pediatrician or WIC counselor. Ying is back to work. Ying uses a breast pump to leave enough milk for Erin while she's away. It is an excellent option for working moms who can't breastfeed during the day, but want to offer their babies the benefits of breast milk. While it is true that breast milk is the best source of nutrients for your baby, there are mothers who cannot breastfeed. G's milk production was low, so after a few months of breastfeeding, she switched to formula. Formula milk for infants has been specifically prepared to satisfy the baby's needs. Choose iron fortified infant formula and make sure to offer your baby the right amounts. From zero to three months, your baby should be having three to six ounces, five to seven times in 24 hours. From four to six months, your baby should be having six to eight ounces, four to five times in 24 hours. Dad always follows the instructions when preparing the bottles. It is important not to feed the baby too much. Remember, a baby's stomach is the size of his fist. These parents and grandparents have learned to recognize when the baby is hungry and when he is full and they won't force him to finish a bottle if he rejects it. If the baby cries, don't assume he is hungry right away. Before you feed him, check what is bothering him. Sometimes babies cry because they want to be cuddled or need to be changed. G already knows that if Ethan wets around six diapers a day and has two bowel movements, this means he's getting enough milk. If you have any questions about feedings and amounts, you should consult with your pediatrician or WIC nutritionist. Uh, I really love breastfeeding, but I don't have enough milk for my baby, so I have to switch to the formula. Since I switched the formula to my baby, he gaining so the weight gaining so fast. That's the thing I'm really concerned about. Okay, and we have talked to a doctor, and she asked us what the exact amount we feed to Ethan. Ying and Ji know that breast milk and formula alone for the first six months provides a balanced diet for their babies. 
They have learned a great deal about healthy and unhealthy feeding choices. They know the don'ts. Don't mix formula with cereal or other solids and put them in a bottle. Don't give the baby sweetened juice drinks. Don't put the baby to bed with a bottle of formula, milk, juice, or sweetened liquid. It can rot his or her teeth. Don't feed eggs to young babies. Their stomachs are not ready, and eggs can cause allergies. These practices may lead to obesity, which in turn increases the risk of developing diabetes and high blood pressure. Ying and Ji also know the do's. Do feed breast milk or infant formula. It provides a very balanced diet and fulfills the baby's needs. Do make feeding time a chance to bond with your baby. Do watch for signs to make sure the baby is hungry before feeding him or her. Do check the feeding amounts to avoid overfeeding. Good eating habits are very important for the mental and physical development of your baby. It's never too early to learn good eating habits. Congratulations! Your baby may be ready to eat solids. This is a time full of adventure and joy. Serving healthy foods during this stage is important to create good eating habits in your baby. This DVD will help you begin the process of giving your baby a healthy nutritional diet, keeping in mind that all babies are different and that yours will develop at his or her own pace. If you have questions, Check with your pediatrician or WIC nutritionist. Anthony just turned seven months old. His family wants to continue doing what is best for him. They know that babies need breast milk or iron-fortified infant formula for the first year. And solid foods are an addition to, not a replacement for, breast milk or formula. Infants aged between 6 to 10 months old who are breastfeeding only should have about 4 to 6 feedings in 24 hours. Between 10 to 12 months, a nursing infant should be breastfed at least 3 or more times in 24 hours. Babies between 6 and 10 months who drink formula should be having 5 to 8 ounces 3 to 4 times in 24 hours. It is very important to watch the number of bottles offered to the baby. Li Xing tries to keep a schedule with Anthony's bottle feedings. She and her mom know that a baby doesn't need to have a bottle all day long, just at specific times. A baby's stomach is the size of his fist. He doesn't need too much formula. Make sure your child is ready for solids before you begin to offer them. When he can sit in by himself, and uh, sometimes when I'm eating, right, he was watch my mouth and put some toy into his mouth. When introducing your baby to solids, start with one new food at a time, and wait five to ten days before you start another new one. In the book I was writing, baby, what time sleeping, what time eat, how many times. How much they eat? I start with rice cereal, then oatmeal, then barley. Li Xing knows not to mix cereal in the baby's bottle. This may cause spitting, gas, or choking. Cereal should be mixed in a bowl with breast milk or formula and given to the baby with a spoon. Remember, solids are an addition to breast milk or formula, not a replacement. After a few weeks of cereal, Li Xing was ready to start giving Anthony vegetables. Usually winter squash, sweet potatoes, green beans, carrots, spinach, bok choy, or choy sun, boiled, are good choices to start with. 
They may be jarred or cooked and should be offered one ingredient at a time rather than mixed. If Anthony has an allergy, Li Xing will know what caused it. Later, when introducing fruit, start with soft ones such as bananas, papaya, or pears. Li Xing doesn't add salt or sugar to Anthony's food. If Anthony rejects a new food, she will try it again, at least three more times in a week. Often, Anthony will finally take it, but she will never force him to eat it if he rejects the food. By the 10th to 12th month, a baby can eat many foods, including dry cereal, toast, crackers, bread, rolls, plain muffin, rice, and noodles. It is a time for babies to experiment. It is very important to let the babies learn to feed themselves, even if it's messy. They need to learn hand-eye-mouth coordination. This helps them develop intelligence. Grandma did not like the mess, but now she understands it is important for her development and is okay. Yi Huan is 11 months old. By now she can eat cut or mashed vegetables, meat such as lean chicken, fish or ground beef, and small pieces of fruit. Grandma makes sure to add some chicken or fish to the congee she serves Yi Huan. Following her pediatrician's advice, Chuan has stayed away from salty, greasy, and sugary foods. Also, she never gives Yi Huan foods that could choke her. No hot dogs. No peanut butter. No whole grapes or berries. No nuts or raisins. No hard candies. No popcorn. Remember, infants are not ready to drink cow's milk until they are one year old. Also keep in mind that babies do not need a bottle all day or all night long. In addition to formula, Chuan only offers her 100% natural juice or water in a sippy cup. It is a good idea to start using sippy cups between 6 and 12 months for liquids other than breast milk or formula. This will get babies used to drinking from a cup instead of a bottle. It will help them when it's time to wean them from the bottle. A baby should be weaned from the bottle by the 18th month. Both Xuan and Li Xing keep an eye on the amount of juice they give their babies. It is very important not to overfeed your baby. Your infant's stomach is only as big as the size of his fist. All the efforts to feed your babies well will help them grow strong and healthy. They know the don'ts. Don't mix formula with cereal or other solids and put them in a bottle. Don't give your baby sweetened juice drinks. Don't put the baby to bed with a bottle of formula, juice, milk, or sweetened liquid. That can rot their teeth. Don't give your baby a bottle all day long. All of these things may lead to obesity, which in turn increases the risk of developing diabetes and high blood pressure. They also know the do's. Do feed your infant with breast milk or formula during the first 12 months. Do avoid feeding too much by following your pediatrician's recommendations. Do offer your baby only 100% juice in a sippy cup and only after he or she is six months old. Do feed him healthy foods such as fruit, vegetables, and whole grains. A healthy diet is very important for the mental and physical development of your baby. It's never too early to learn good eating habits. Congratulations! Your toddler is ready to eat more new foods. Feeding your toddler is a family affair, and everyone should be a good example. Make sure that others caring for your child also know how to feed her. This DVD will help you with the process of giving your toddler a healthy diet. If you have questions, check with your pediatrician or WIC nutritionist. By the 12th month, solids are your baby's main foods. 
It is very important to offer your child a balanced diet with foods from all five groups, grains, vegetables and fruits, milk and milk products, red meat, white meat such as fish, and beans. Variety is more important than quantity. Your toddler should get five servings of vegetables and fruits every day. By giving her different flavors, colors, and textures, you'll get her used to different tastes, while also giving her many nutrients. At the beginning, getting a baby to eat five servings each day sounded difficult, but a serving is only a quarter of a cup of fruit or vegetables. 100% juice can count as a serving of fruit, too. Be sure to serve juice in a cup, and no more than one cup a day. Follow the five colors. Eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables every day. Blue and purple, red, yellow and orange, white, green. It's easier to make a list before I go shopping that I know exactly what I need. I try to plan Juliana's meal because it is easier for me to give her healthier food. When your baby turns one year old, she is ready for cow's milk and doesn't need formula anymore. But you can continue breastfeeding. Your baby needs the fat and calories that cow's milk has until she turns two for healthy brain development. Remember, toddlers should not drink too much milk. They should not have a bottle all day or all night long. Mana gives Juliana no more than two to three cups of milk per day so she can have room for other healthy foods. It is also important not to feed your toddler too much. Remember that a toddler's stomach is the size of her fist. Ka and her mother are learning not to feed Shelby if she doesn't want to eat. It isn't easy since there is always the fear that the child is not getting enough to eat. Ka and her mom are also starting to understand that a child does not need to look chubby to be healthy. And she is trying hard to make good eating habits into a family affair. We are trying to eat more fruits and vegetables so we can set a good example for Shelby. And we also try not to have sweets and sweet drinks because the doctor said if, we, if she sees us having them, she will want some too. Ka and Mana are also working on making healthier snacks. The idea is to turn snacks into small healthy meals. Try these. Yogurt, diced hard-boiled egg, one-year-old babies can have egg yolks and egg whites, cubed cheese with wheat crackers, fruit dices, iron-fortified toddler cereal snacks, applesauce. Don't use snacks as rewards or incentives. Use toys or non-food rewards. Your child should be having only two to three cups of milk a day. She doesn't need any more milk. By the 18th month, your child should no longer be using a bottle. Mana and Ka's efforts to feed their babies well will allow Shelby and Juliana to grow strong and healthy. Both moms are learning the don'ts. Don't offer sugary drinks, flavored drinks, or fruit punch. Don't serve too much milk or juice. Don't give a baby a bottle all day or all night long. Don't give snacks and foods high in salt or foods that may cause choking, like nuts, raisins, and hot dogs. Unhealthy eating habits may lead to obesity, which in turn increases the risk of developing diabetes and high blood pressure. Mana and Ka have also learned the do's. Do use foods from all five groups and fruits and veggies of all colors. Do stop feeding when the child is full. Do use praise, toys, or other non-food rewards. Do turn snacks into small healthy meals. Do wean your baby from the bottle by the 18th month. A healthy diet is very important for the mental and physical development of your child. It's never too early to learn good eating habits.
Congratulations, your toddler is ready to eat more new foods. Feed him meals from all five food groups. Feeding your toddler is a family affair, and everyone can be a good example. Make sure everyone caring for your child also knows how to feed him. This DVD will help you with the process of offering your toddler a healthy diet. If you have any questions, ask your pediatrician or WIC nutritionist. This new stage gives Cam a chance to expand Cole's diet by introducing him to new healthy foods. Snack time is the ideal opportunity for this. Cam gives her son fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. She sees snacks as mini meals that should also provide healthy food to her child. Florence plans her children's snacks. She doesn't wait until they are hungry to think of what to offer. I'm very lucky. My father-in-law has always cooked for us and we make sure to always give the kids very healthy snacks. I try to bring snacks with me from the house instead of buying cookies or sweets outside. When I do groceries for the week, I'll buy plums and just put them in the bag and just take them with me anywhere I go. With good planning and smart shopping, it's easy to give your toddler a healthy variety of snacks. Try these. Yogurt, diced hard-boiled egg, cheese cubes, fruit dices, iron-fortified toddler cereal snacks, applesauce. Cam avoids giving Cole sugary drinks like fruit punch or flavored juices. They take away his appetite for healthier foods and hurt the growth of his teeth. I try to offer cold water instead of juice because I don't want him to be full at dinner time. I also serve it to him in a cup since he no longer uses the bottle now. Don't use snacks as rewards or incentives. Use toys or other non-food rewards. And make sure those caring for your child know how much and what to feed him or her. A healthy dinner should have some meat or fish, some rice or noodles, and of course vegetables. For Tristan, we try to keep the portion small. It's healthier. Even when we eat out or order takeout, we try to make sure that we give the children a balanced meal. Some meat, chicken or fish, some rice or noodles, and definitely some vegetables. We stay away from fried, greasy food. At this point, your toddler should only be having two to three cups of whole milk a day. When your child turns two years old, you should switch to low-fat milk. Cam and Florence's efforts to feed their toddlers well will allow them to grow strong and healthy. They are learning their don'ts. Don't offer sugary drinks, flavor drinks, or fruit punch. Don't feed too much milk or juice. Don't give snacks and foods high in salt, as well as foods that may lead to choking, like nuts, raisins, and hot dogs. Unhealthy eating habits may lead to obesity, which in turn increases the risk of developing diabetes and high blood pressure. They have also learned the do's. Do turn snacks into small healthy meals. Do serve foods from all five groups and use all the rainbow colors of fruits and veggies. Do stop feeding when the child is full. Do set yourself and your family as examples for healthy eating. A healthy diet is very important for the mental and physical development of your child. It's never too early to learn good eating habits. Congratulations! If you have seen the first four chapters of the series, you now have the basic information on how to offer your child healthy meals and healthy snacks. We have talked about the importance of offering your child a healthy diet from the beginning, and about introducing your toddler to foods from all five food groups. We discussed not feeding too much, 
and stressed the need to stay away from sugary drinks, as well as salty snacks and sweets. In this last chapter, we will discuss healthy snacking, why you should not use foods as reward for good behavior, and how to work with others caring for your child. If you have questions, ask your pediatrician or WIC nutritionist. Children should not be offered food as a reward. Many of these foods have little or no nutritional value. Using food as a reward encourages eating too many foods high in added sugar, salt, and fat, and teaches kids to eat when they're not really hungry. These poor food choices lead to obesity, which in turn increases the risk of diabetes and high blood pressure. Snacks are mini meals. They should include fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Try these. Yogurt, diced hard-boiled egg, cheese with wheat crackers, fruit dices, iron-fortified toddler cereal snacks, applesauce. With three children to think about, I definitely need to plan their snacks. Otherwise, they get hungry and cranky, and it's very easy to give them unhealthy snacks. So I plan. When I come up with a menu in advance, it is easy for me to give Juliana her healthy varieties of snack. Follow the five colors. Eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables every day. Blue and purple, red, yellow and orange, white, green. Snacks are not full meals. Keep the portions small. If your child is still hungry, he can ask for more. Two snacks a day served between meals should be enough. You may offer milk or juice as a snack, but not too much. Offer water instead. Here is a sample of a balanced, nutritious menu for your toddler. Breakfast. Iron-fortified cereal with whole milk, 100% juice, and sliced bananas. Mid-morning snack whole wheat toast, half a cup of yogurt, half an Asian pear or other fruit. Lunch, fish, noodles, half a cup of milk, cooked green vegetables such as asparagus. Mid-afternoon snack, cubed cheese, sliced strawberries, half a cup of whole milk. Dinner, fish or chicken, cooked vegetables, rice, half a cup of whole milk. Make eating healthy a family affair. Everyone should be a good example. If your toddler sees her older brother or sister eating unhealthy foods, your toddler will want to eat the same things. Sometimes my mom and I disagree about what to feed Cole. She'll want to feed him toast with that sweet condensed milk on it. And she'll say, I raised you and you're fine. But now we're beginning to learn to discuss things together and decide what's best for Cole. Learn your don'ts. Don't offer sugary drinks and flavored drinks or fruit punch. Don't use food as a reward for good behavior. Don't give snacks and foods high in salt or foods that may lead to choking, like nuts, raisins, or hot dogs. Don't overfeed with too much milk or juice. Don't give a baby a bottle all day or all night long. Poor eating habits may lead to obesity, which in turn increases the risk of developing diabetes and high blood pressure. Learn your do's. Do turn snacks into small healthy meals. Do serve foods from all five groups and use all the rainbow colors of fruits and veggies. Do stop feeding when your child seems full. Do wean your baby from the bottle by the 18th month. Do set yourself and your family as main examples for healthy eating. A healthy diet is very important for the mental and physical development of your child. It's never too early to learn good eating habits. We hope you have enjoyed this program. We encourage you to watch it as many times as necessary and share the information with family and friends.